I'd like to take this time, this early morning, if I may, to remind America that Donald Trump is a crook. Now, what does that mean? It means that Donald Trump has accepted the idea that everything that is said against evil or a crook, since I'm talking about that, is on the one hand representative of what someone else thinks about it, but not what they who, who accepts it. To them, it's true. It is the way to work. It is the opposite of the other way. And it is to work. Usually, one way is taught that the other way is improper. You condemn it. But they who follow it says, this is fine. You say don't steal, steal then works. You say don't kill, kill works. You say don't lie, lying works. And so when you say Donald Trump, honest, genuine man, to those who, who have accepted that way of thinking, of being a cheater, what you have been taught was evil. They accept that as being great, great. Donald Trump is not here trying to honor the American people. Donald Trump is about honoring crookdom, honoring evil. Now, think about the election, the first one. Everybody came back and told America, our, those who knew him, uh, felt they knew him like I'm talking about it now, they could have been talking about it, what they thought, or what they've seen, or what they've deduced. But his whole idea is to be sure that you're going to win. If the rules allow you to win, great. But if the rules stand in the way of you winning, make sure that you got another plan that works for you to win. In other words, always have the scheme in. Always have the scheme in. Never go without the scheme. And so, when he had to ask Russia for help, or chose to ask Russia for help, and all the other many things that was done that we know nothing about, cool. It got him where he wanted to be, President of the United States. And he got it by making those who is just like him feel happy about it. And those who maybe didn't feel like him accept the lie, accept the deception that it might be right. Let's give it a shot. But having given it a shot, they said, no way. Now he knew that the possibilities of him winning might not happen. So he had to also put in play the con, the assurance, the cheat. And he had all kinds of people talking about how wonderful he is, how God loved him and sent him to make America great again by turning it back white. All of this stuff was fine. But the people, for some strange reason, more than them, were saying, something is wrong with that, and I don't want to have anything to do with it. So they voted him out. But he had to scheme in. How do you stay in power? He always set it up saying they stole it. Like he said, you notice if you go back wherever he's been in a situation like this, he's always projecting that somebody steals. That's the only way you can lose. Somebody steals. And all the same time, he's doing everything he can to steal, making you folk think of someone else. And when they steal overcome him, he's doing what he's doing now. Well, there are
that's the game that's being played. So you have this who says Russia help. Now you got this guy who's willing to have January 6th. I mean, and he was willing to go as deep as anybody else was willing to go. If people had taken out their guns and started, if those guys who represented Trump had taken out those, had had guns, taken those guns and start shooting people and start killing people, it would have been the greatest day that Trump would have ever had. Trump would have said they loved him. They were killing people for him. They were just all so deep into Trump and God was with them. But that didn't happen. But that didn't stop Trump. He's still going right on, right on saying he won. And the fact that he says he got shot in the ear. Can you imagine getting shot in the ear? A BB would do more damage than you. You got what, a piece of paper or maybe I'm sure gall setting up against his ear. Didn't look like anything a doctor would do. Uh, like a banner would have been just sufficient. But he wants you to think that he got shot. That makes him, amongst his guys, the people who just don't give a damn about anybody but themselves and they're willing to screw and do anything to have their way and kill you, die you, take your land, make you a slave. Yeah, those kind of people. They will do that shit. They'll have another one kill. This president, you remember? Hang Mike Pence, hang Mike Pence, hang Mike Pence. We done had the, the vice president of the United States murder to get attention, to hold things, to give him enough time to manipulate the evilness in a society. And to have another guy, what you call, killed while trying to uplift him as being a hero to the people. The death, the collateral damage, nothing for dictators. Now, you think that would be a problem for Putin? You think that would be a problem for the guy in North Korea to have somebody murdered to make it look like this is a legitimate assassination attempt? You think these guys would have a problem with it? If you don't think those guys would have a problem with it, then you know damn well Donald Trump wouldn't have a problem with it either. But you the people, you the people, the man say he got shot by the ear. By the ear. By the ear. And now I guess all the church is saying God stood up and blessed him. Yeah, maybe God did stood up and blessed him. And if God stood up and blessed Donald Trump, if this is real, I'm going to say you because I know it's not, that he stood up and blessed Donald Trump. He had one reason. And what would that reason be? Because you, the people, deserve all the evil that Donald Trump has planned to bring to you. Now, when I say Donald Trump, I'm not talking about just Donald Trump. I'm talking about Donald Trump being the tool that evil uses to screw everybody else. I wanted to remind you this. Trying to sleep just didn't go down too good with this. So I had to come and just share this with you. Um, thank you very much.